back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kaylee and today's class is a 45 minute yoga sculpt. This class will be a vinyasa flow with exercises woven in and we are going to use dumbbells for class today. So I have a set of five pounds here. You grab anything that you have at home or like to work with and as always you can do this body weight and just mimic the movements with nothing in the hands. If you're looking for a chiller vinyasa flow, this class definitely isn't for you, so I would check out one of my other regular vinyasa classes. We are definitely gonna get a sweat on, get our heart rate up, and feel really good at the end of class. As always, there's Spotify playlist in the description if you would like to play music while we flow, and let's get started in a child's pose. Take the knees wide, big toes together. Reach the fingers out in front of you and let the forehead rest on the mat. Take a moment to just settle. Breathing in, filling up the lungs, and letting it go. Taking a few moments to find your center, to tap in to how you're feeling in this moment. And just start to let anything that does not pertain to this moment in time fall away into the background. Knowing that the hard part is over, you set up your mat, you got onto it, you carved out the time for you. So can you make your intention to stay present right here for the next 45 minutes? One more big breath in. And big breath out. On your next inhale, come up to a tabletop, hands and knees. Zach wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, spread the fingers wide. We'll start with cat cows. So on your inhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, lift the gaze, cow pose. Exhale, top ground, push into the hands, chin towards chest, arch the back. Good, couple more like that. Maybe you close the eyes down, move through feeling. Add in any other shape. Beautiful, come back to neutral, sweep the right arm forward and then open to a twist and then push the hips back towards your child's pose as you reach the right hand towards the back of the mat. Sweep the right hand all the way along the mat, open it back up, find your twist and then push the hips back, sweep it back. Good, one more like that. This time we'll hold the twist, so open all the way out and then thread right arm underneath, tap right shoulder. Good, inhale, open it back up. And then tap it down. Last one. Holding down on the right shoulder, let the head rest on the mat. Push into the left hand or for a challenge, lift it up and around into the right hip crease. Try to roll the chest open towards the left side of your space and stack left shoulder on top of right. Starting to warm up the spine, open up through the chest, the shoulders. Should feel pretty good. And then gently release the left hand down. Inhale, right arm up. One more time, make a fist and roll out your right wrist a few times. Switch the direction of the circles. And then release right hand to the mat. We'll switch sides. Left arm sweeps up, around, open to your twist, and then push the hips back as you sweep the arms to the back of the mat. Inhale, sweep it forward. And exhale, sweep it back. One more full round. Beautiful. Sweep it forward. Find your twist. Stay there. Big breath in. Breath out. Thread underneath. Come on to the left shoulder. Good. Inhale. Open it up. Dynamic movement through the spine. Exhale. Tap the shoulder. Last one. Come down into the left shoulder and stay. Option right hand presses into the mat to deepen the twist or challenge your balance and take the right hand to the left hip crease. Think about opening chest. So roll right shoulder on top of left. Feels so good always. This is one of my favorite stretches. So anytime we twist, we want to twist from our shoulder girdle. So our hips stay pointing 
forward, they're square. Beautiful, gently release, right hand down, inhale, open to your twist one more time, make a fist and roll out the wrist. And then switch the direction of those circles. And release left hand to the mat, tabletop. One more cat cow, inhale, open up the heart. Exhale, press into the hands, tuck chin in towards chest. Inhale, back to your neutral table. Exhale, tuck the toes and the hips high, downward facing dog. Pedal it out right, then left. Maybe shake the head yes and no. Sway the hips side to side. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Next, inhale, lift the heels on the exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up to stand. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, high plank to Chaturanga, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Walk the hands to the back of the mat, feet about hip width, find a ragdoll for a moment, bend into the knees, let the torso hang. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Beautiful, heel toe the feet together, bend the knees and then just come down to a seat, sweep the feet forward. We're gonna come all the way onto the back to start with core today. So lower down, however you get there. Open the arms out to a T, palms flat to the mat and then take the legs to a tabletop, knees over hips, ankles in line with knees, we'll dip all the way over to the right, come back through center, and then switch all the way over to the left. So you're almost going to a twist, like our supine twist, using obliques to pull back in. Good, a couple more. Deep breaths. Shoulders stay glued to the mat the whole time. Four counts. All right, last one to the left. Come back through center, open the arms out, palms face up, and then right arm comes underneath the left, eagle arms, right leg over left, eagle legs. Inhale to lift, away from the body, left fingers tap, left toes tap, and then exhale, crunch in. <laughs> Inhale, extend, extend, exhale, crunch. Again, squeezing everything in towards the midline. Good. Last one. Open the arms back out. Let's find that twist. Just drop the knees over to the left, gaze to the right. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Good, inhale, come back through center. Let's switch sides, left leg over, left arm under. Find your eagle arms, eagle legs. On your inhale, extend everything out. On the exhale, crunch in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. Deep breaths. Think about lifting the shoulder blades up off of the mat. Good, couple more. Last one, beautiful. Open the arms out and then let the knees drop over to the right, gaze to the left. One breath in and one breath out. Beautiful, come back through center, pull the knees in towards the chest and then we'll rock as many times as you need to come up to a chaturanga. Up dog to downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Two more cycles of breath here. Take this moment to simply be, to find your breath. If you ever need child's pose, there is the option to take it. Beautiful, next inhale, lift the heels, exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up to stand. On the exhale, cactus the arms, open up the heart. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Next, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, travel top of the mat. You can step or float. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Exhale, cactus the arms, open up the heart. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, step or float. Up, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga. Step or float. Up dog. Down dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway. Forward fold. Chair. Bend the knees. Sweep the arms up to the sky. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. One more. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step, crescent lunge. Sweep all the way up, big breath in. Warrior two, breath out. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, chaturanga. Maybe right leg stays lifted for a challenge. We meet back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg to sky. Knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step. Crescent lunge. Sweep up, big breath in. Warrior two, big breath out. Good, inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, chaturanga. Left foot can stay lifted. Up dog. Down dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. We'll find two more breaths here. Take a moment to catch your breath. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Hold here. On your inhale, drop the knee to the mat. On the exhale, curl the knee back up to the chest. Good. Inhale, drop it down. Exhale, curl it in. Inhale, drop it down. Exhale, curl it in. Drop it down. Curl it in. One more. Beautiful. This time, drop it down. Right knee under right hip. And then lift. Right arm, left leg. Take a big breath in. On the breath out, curl elbow to knee underneath you. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl. Good. Big breath in to big breath out as you crunch. Think about taking your ribs to your hips. Yes, using your core. Good. Beautiful. Keep it long. Little pulses. Eight. Six. Four, three, two, one. From here, right hand, left foot, kick. Tiger pose, foot into hand, hand into foot. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Holding here, two more cycles of breath. Try to keep this active, push into the bottom hand. Keep kicking the foot, lifting through the heart. 
Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen everything long. Exhale, plant the hand and foot. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg to sky. Exhale, step the right foot forward in between the hand, drop to a low lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. On your exhale, fly the arms back, straighten through the right leg, half splits. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, fly it back. One more, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, fly it back. Good, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, plant the hands. Chaturanga, right leg could stay lifted. We meet back down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, knee to nose, hold it. Drop it, inhale. Exhale, curl, really push into the hands. Think about drawing knee towards chest. Keep the right leg really active. Use your exhale to lift knee into chest. Yes. Beautiful. Last one. Beautiful. This time, lower it down. Right arm, left leg, or left arm, right leg. Breathe in. Breathe out, curl it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl. Good. Soft bend in the bottom elbow. Couple more. Been loving this functional core recently as we are stabilizing through the core as we move. Couple more. All right, hold it long. Eight pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, tiger pose. Kick the foot into the hand, open up through the heart. Roll the left shoulder in towards the midline. Breathe in, breathe out. Two more breaths, inhale. And exhale. Last one, big breath in. Big breath out. Release it all the way out. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, step, left foot forward. Lift up, low lunge, inhale. Exhale, sweep the foot, or sweep the arms back straight through the left leg. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Last one, use your core to balance. Good, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, plant the hands. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let's keep it moving. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway, forward fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands to heart. Great work. All right, grab one weight. Option to do this weightless. We'll hold it in either hand at the chest. Feet hips width. We're stepping left foot back to a crescent lunge and then step back forward. So just the left foot is moving. <sighs> Core engaged. Root down through your right foot. Yes, nice. Slight lean forward. Couple more. Four, three. We're gonna add a warrior three as we come up, we'll hinge forward. So we'll go back, hinge, back, lift. Yes. Core engaged, back flat. Four. Two, hold, warrior three, then take the weight down. Option for a block here, find a half moon. Lift your left arm, left leg to the sky. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. On your inhale, extend left arm by the ear. On the exhale, crunch, left elbow, left thigh. Inhale, extend, exhale, crunch. Couple more, soft bend in the bottom knee. 
Think about squeezing left side obliques. Great work. The weight gives the extra challenge since it's a little bit wobbly. In, out. All right, we're switching sides in four, three, two, one. Step the left foot down, bend into the knees, grab that weight, come all the way up to stand, weight to chest, right foot back. Forward. All right, switching sides. Now left foot stays still. Stepping back with the right foot, bending your lunge, deep bend in both knees, slightly in forward. Nice, that looks awesome. Deep breaths. All right, we'll add warrior three right here, lifting the right leg. Lunge to lift. Keep a soft bend in the bottom leg. Hinging forward at the hips. Brace through the core. Gaze at one point. Good. We'll find half moon. Right here, left hand down. The right arm, right leg lifts to the sky. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, right arm by the ear. Exhale, connect, elbow to thigh. Inhale, extend, exhale, pull. Extend, pull, gaze at one point. Crunch right side obliques. Couple more. Out, in, four, three, two, one. Forward fold, you can drop that weight. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Two more like that, inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Last one, inhale, exhale. Inhale halfway, exhale chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Two breaths to catch your breath. If you need water, now's a good time to take it. Maybe a child's pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Beautiful, next inhale, lift the heels, exhale, top of the mat, halfway, forward fold, inhale, rise, exhale, hands to heart center. All right, we'll grab both weights, if you have them. Walk to the center of the mat, elbows high, feet about hips width, sit down into a little squat, draw the elbows up, we'll tap one foot out as we try some kickback, starting right, go out, in, out, in. So, if you look at my arms, my elbows are staying high, and just my forearms are moving right, my upper arm bones stay still. Good, tap, tap. Stay low in the legs, I know you can do it. Belly button to spine, chest broad, shoulder blades pulling in towards the midline, good. Tap, 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 tap. Four, three, we keep right foot out. In two, in one, right foot out. Keep the arms back, just little tiny lift. <sighs> lift, lift, you're just holding in the arms. Lift, lift, good. Leaning slightly forward, bend into the bottom knee. Eight counts. Eight, seven, six, five, then we'll stand up in four. Take the weights overhead. Find tricep extensions. Three, two, one, right here. Weights overhead, just bend, extend. Little break for the legs. Bend, extend. Low ribs pulling in. Weights pressed together. Up, down, good. Last four, three, 
two, one, weights to the chest. Find your footing, feet hips width, elbows high, tap left foot, tap right foot. Back to the beginning. You got it, second side, tap, 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 beautiful, tap, chest broad, tap, four, three, two, we hold the arms back, and four, three, two, one, left foot out, little pulse, lift, lift. Now turn your palms back this time. Good, lift, lift, hello triceps, I definitely feel them. Lift, 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 final push, eight, six, four, arms go overhead. Three, two, one, right here, stand up, arms overhead, just bend, extend, bend, extend, Bend, keep it bent, little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great work. Put those weights down. Step to the top of the mat. Sweep the arms up. Bend the right elbow. Lean over towards the left. Inhale through center. Bend the left elbow, catch it. Lean over to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway, chaturanga step or float. Up dog, down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Two more cycles of breath here as always. A moment to catch your breath. To come back. Last one, biggest breath in, biggest breath out. Good, inhale, lift the heels, exhale, top of the mat, halfway, forward fold, inhale, rise, sweep all the way up to stand, exhale, hands to heart center. All right, we'll grab those weights once again, turn to face the side of the mat, step to the top of the mat where the left side of your mat. So right foot is going to step out first, whatever that is for you in your space. Go ahead and take it. We're just gonna side lunge. Hands will come to the heart center, right foot steps out. Deep bend in the right knee, send the hips back, and then step back up, good. Bend, stand. Option, do the snow weights. Good. Send the weight back into your heel and your hips back in space. Yeah, down, lift. And it's a little tap with the right foot when you come back up to stand. Most of the weight stays in your left leg. Good. Core engaged as always. Couple more. Four. We'll hold the side lunge. Drop the arms down, find a row. Palms will face back. Two, one, palms face back, row, row. Keep the bend in the right knee. Nice, row, row. All right, we're gonna do that again. When we come back up to stand, we'll pull the right knee into the chest and press the weights overhead. You can do it. Little balance. In four, three, we'll draw the weights back to the chest. Two, one, weights to chest. So as you stand, pull the right knee in, press up, and then weights to the chest as you side lunge. <sighs> yeah, it might take a couple to find your balance. Pull the knee in first and then press overhead. It also helps if you are looking at one point. Good. Push. A little bit of core engagement in our one-legged balance. Press. Lunge. Good. Couple more. Four. Three. 
We'll hold it in our balance right here. Palms face forward, elbows wide. We're gonna close the elbows in. As we open, open the leg, open the arms. Close and open. So it's kind of like you're going to an active tree shape. You should feel your inner thigh, your shoulders, biceps. Last one. Good, step it down. We'll move to the other side of the mat. Switching sides, hands to heart, left foot out. Step, step. Good, a longer sequence. Lots of different parts, lots of different muscles working. And this endurance work is cardio because it challenges us to see how long we can be under tension. So increasing that time under tension for the muscles means new strength, new growth. Good. A couple more. We'll hold it in our side lunge. Find that row in four. Three, two, right here, hold it, palms face back, row, drop, think about squeezing the tips of your shoulder blades together, yeah, elbows wide, deep bend in the left knee, nice, core engaged, row, row, all right. We add that one-legged balance in four, three, two, one. Right here, hands to heart. Lift up, press overhead, side lunge, push, side lunge. Yeah. Lift. Lift. You got it. Keep going, press, 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 couple more, nice work, four, three, two, Hold it, take the palms wide, or elbows wide, palms forward, close them in. Open them out with the leg, close, open, Ooh. close, open, gaze at one point to help balance. Out, in, a couple more, four, three, two, last one, last one. Great work, take it down. Woo, awesome job. All right, put those weights towards the middle of the mat. Walk to the top, we'll take a vinyasa. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Take a deep breath in and then deep breath out. Inhale to lift the heels. Exhale to come to a seat. And we'll come onto our back. Awesome job, we are almost done. Just a little bit more. Weights in the hands, palms face up. Walk the feet slightly forward so you have a long triangle shape in the legs. We're gonna start by just reaching forward. So chin away from the chest, reach the weights forward. We'll go forward and lower back down. Good, you can let the arms rest as you come back down. All right, we're gonna take you to a full sit up, bicep curl at the top, four, three, two, right here. Sit up, bicep curl, lower back down. These five pound weights feel so heavy. Sit up, lower, sit up, lower, you got it. Down, up, oh my God. Option, drop the weights. Tap, hands to shoulders as you lift. Couple more, stay with it. All right, we're gonna 
and hold it up. Lift the knees in towards the chest, or in Russian twists. In four, three, two, right here. Weights to chest, lean back, lift the legs, twist right, left. Good. Thighs pulling in towards each other, unless you're feeling it more in your hip flexors, then you can widen the knees apart. Twist from your shoulders. <sighs> twist, twist, yes. Twist, twist, almost there. Twist, twist. <sighs> twist, twist. Four, three, two, one, lower the feet, just a curl, up, down, sit up tall, down, up, last four, three, two, one, great work, put those weights down and then come onto your back, we'll use them for this last sequence, Whew. I am feeling it, Nice and sweaty. All right, weights to the hips. Feet about hips width. We'll find a little bridge. Flow, hips up. Lift for two, lower for two. Slowing it down here. Finding muscle control. Squeezing your glutes as you lift and lower the hips. Good, your weights are there for extra resistance. If you don't want them, you can always put them down by the side. Lift, lower, up, down, yeah, so, so good. Squeeze your glutes. So we're working glute max, hamstring, glute med, lift, lower. Quads are also helping this movement in our thighs. Up, down, lift, lower, four counts. We'll keep it lifted, heels up and down. Right here, heels up, lift, lower, lift, lower. Good, try to keep the hips high as you lift the heels. <sighs> lift, lower, up down, beautiful, up, down, <sighs> lift, lower, my booty is on fire, I hope yours is too, <laughs> lift, lower, up, down, all right, you'll stay up, little pulse right here, lift, lift, <sighs> lift, lift, good, Lift, lift. All right, we're gonna finish with chest. We'll lower the hips. Grab the weights in the hands, find a chest fly. In four, three, two, one. Right here, heels down, hips down. Grab those weights, place them over the chest, palms face each other, slow four count lower. Right here, lower down. Four, three, two, one, lift. Four, three, two, one, super slow. Lower, three, two, one, lift, 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 lift. Feel that shake, that tremble on both the way down and up. Down, down, lift. Lift, all right, let's add the hips. So we'll lower the arms as we lift the hips and lift the arms as we lower the hips. So arms and hips are going in opposite directions, right? One is going down, one is going up and vice versa. Slight bend in the elbows to keep the elbows safe. So, so good, we're almost there. We're gonna keep it lifted, arms wide. Right here, keep it lifted, arms wide. Pulse the hips and the arms. 
lift, 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 lift. Lift, lift. We're here till the finish line. Stay strong. Last four, three, two, one. Great work. We are done with the weights. Place them off to the side. Let's find a full body stretch. Reach the arms overhead, legs long. Take a deep breath in and a deep, expansive breath out. Let it go. Draw the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. And then find a happy baby. Knees wide, soles of the feet to the sky. You could rock side to side. Flex the toes. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Beautiful, draw the knees back in towards the chest. Rock up to a seat, cross the ankles, plant the hands, final vinyasa, chaturanga, or just meet back in a down dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, bend the knees, stack the hip. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, pigeon. Right chin across the top of the mat. Drop down onto the right hip. Untuck the toes. Square the hips to the top of the mat. And then lower yourself down. Option for figure four. If pigeon is too much on the front knee, wherever you are, find the balance between effort and ease. The effort of staying aligned in the pose and the ease of sinking in to a stretch. When you're ready, come up on an in-breath. Tuck the toes. Take the right leg high, three-legged. Bend the knees, back the hip, and then open to a flip dog. Lifting the hips, dropping the head. Beautiful. Releasing back, down dog when you're ready, and then we'll switch sides. Left leg to sky, bend the knees, back the hip, and pigeon. Left chin across the top of the mat, come on down. Lowering over the left leg. Maybe close the eyes. Long, slow, deep breaths. If the mind is wandering off of your mat, can you bring it back? And then press back up onto the hands. Tuck the right toes, inhale, left leg to the sky, and then knees back the hip, flip dog. Drop the left foot, push into the right hand, and then spin the heart to the sky. And we'll release back to our downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, drop the knees, sweep the feet forward. 
So kind of forward fold, flex the toes. Inhale, lift the arms up to the sky. On the exhale, hinge forward and fold over the legs. Take a deep breath in, think about lengthening. Calm the breath out, fold even deeper. Coming back up, we'll lower down to our back. So however you get there, making sure your props are out of the way. And we'll find a final supine twist. So draw the knees in towards the chest. Keep the right knee, extend the left leg long, and then draw the right knee towards right shoulder, right armpit. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, right knee to the left, gaze to the right. Three full cycles of breath here. And then come back through center. Pull both knees in towards the chest. And then right leg out. Take a deep breath in. Pulling left knee in towards left shoulder. On um, exhale. Twist. Left knee to the right, gaze over towards the left. Three full cycles of breath. Draw back through center, pull the knees in one last time, and release to a Shavasana shape of your choice. So go Sukhjavada, regular, traditional Shavasana, or anything else that's called your name. We won't be here for too long, so come right into it. Close the eyes and let the breath return to its natural rhythm. If you know you want a longer Shavasana, you could always pause the video. And as you rest here in stillness, notice that the mind might wander off into the rest of the day, maybe telling you that being in stillness is a waste of time. But can you remind yourself that this time in stillness is just as important as all of the other movement we did in class today? Can you commit to staying, to being here, present in your body, your breath? to wiggle fingers and toes, hands and feet, maybe a full body stretch, arms sweep up overhead, toes point towards the front of the mat. Roll over onto a side of your choosing and press up into a comfortable seat, closing the eyes back down once you arrive. Sit up tall, collect the hands at the heart center, press palms together, Lifting front of the head to the sky, shoulders soft down the back body. As always, take a moment to notice how you feel, what's going on, mind, body. And can you call in that feeling of 
gratitude, of being grateful for just showing up to do something for you today. I'll take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Blink the eyes open. Great work. I hope you absolutely loved this class. As always, please let me know down below if you did, if you got as sweaty as I did, and what you'd like to see more of. And I will see you in my next video.